Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I motorized the Lego set 31084 Pirate Roller Coaster. As you can see, it's been running pretty smoothly at the moment. And so I'm just going to stop it in a minute and I'll show you how I actually motorized it. So down here I've got an M motor connected to a battery box. A little support structure here that I changed. Only this section I have it, I've changed, the rest of the set stays the same. So in the support structure here I've moved the um, the blue pillar and created a tan one so it's got a hole in the middle so it still supports but the chain link can go through to do this you will need 82 at least 82 chain links um, you can take one off or add an extra one on depending on what suits you better but I find 82 suits me the best and they are connected to a little gear here on the M motor so the first part of the um, roller coaster, the first whole part here, that's where the chain and the gear pretty much sits. Goes all the way up there to the very last bit on the top, and all the way at the bottom, which gives a fairly smooth transition all the way through. As there's a little pins in these roller coasters, and they get caught in the middle here and dragged to the top. You may notice I'm using two carts instead of the. Uh, all three where I've got the other one here. It just usually works better with two for me with this setup. But um, if it were, if you put three on, it sometimes works, but sometimes it will just stop here and doesn't make it all the way down there. So I just use two so it'll keep circulating without any inter interference on me. I've also removed the skull piece from here as that slows it down a little bit and I just need the speed so get around the spend. And the octopus here that connects here, I just removed um, so you can then see this much more clearly. And one other thing I did, guys, is that depending what level surface you have this on, but um, I've added two plates at the bottom here just to lift this whole side up here just a little bit. So it gives a little slope to this bend here so it makes it all the way around or sometimes it will get enough momentum just to go to here and doesn't quite make it to the slope there. So that's why I give it a little extra height. I just use two plates at the bottom, give it a little extra height so it can make it fully around. And that's the only things I did to um, make it motorized. So um, it took me a few trials and errors but got there in the end. So hopefully this video will help you motorize your own um, pirate roller coaster. So I'll just um, put it on again and I hope you enjoy it. 